So today we're going to take a look at the TM7 and TM7 Plus and some of the power issues that surround it. So this is a TM7 Plus, physically the same as a TM7. And if we look at the back of the set, we can see that here is the 12 volt input. Now the first thing we need to do is remove this bracket as it tends to prevent various plugs fitting in so we don't need it and uh, it's as simple as that to remove. Now firstly if we're going to use the set in the shack we can use a 12 volt power supply like this one. Simply plug into the mains, into the back of the TM7 and immediately it will start powering up. Once it's powered up we can go into the menu in the usual way, use the transceiver, but then of course we'd, uh, at the end of the session we need to turn it off. We'd go to the power button in the usual way, comes up with a menu, power off, reboot or airplane mode, we can select power off, your phone will shut down, well that's okay, press that and it uh, shuts down. However, what the TM7 and 7 Plus do is immediately reboot. Now this is because this is a commercial set designed to be fitted into a commercial vehicle where you don't want your members of staff accidentally turning off the transceiver. So it's designed as long as the car is powered up then the transceiver will stop on. That's okay but it's probably not ideal for use in the shack at home. So what we can do is we can insert into the 12 volt power line a switch such as this one here. So this will plug into, into the power supply at that end, into the TM7 at this end, and then if we look at the set and we switch the switch on, the transceiver will start to boot up. Equally when we want to switch it off at the end of the session we simply switch the switch off. Now if we want to extend this cable, because the transceiver is some way from the main socket, we can use a lead such as this, which would go into here, and would extend the lead out, yet retaining the switch near the transceiver. So those are a couple of options for solving the power issue when using the set in the shack. So if we'd now like to use the the transceiver in a vehicle we've got a couple of options as well. First one is to use this lead which is a splitter lead. This end plugs into the 12 volt accessory port in your car. This end gives a socket so that you can continue on using your accessories and this end here plugs into the back of the TM7. So therefore you don't lose a socket. You can use the switch unit as before in this and you can also use the power extender as well. An alternative to this lead is the one I have here which has an integral switch within it so you don't need the switch unit and is longer so you may not need the extension though you can extend it if you wish and this just simply plugs into the back of the TM7 and into the accessory part in your car. So thank you for watching and as usual all the accessories featured are available in the link below.